How much? Uh, 150 with 900. 150? Oh. Well, this is what you do in Alexandria. You go on a boat. <laughs> and now we're going to get like little panoramic views of uh, Kite's Bay. Now I'll take these two and that's it. Just these. Leave everything else. One minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. No. One no minute. one minute. You be honest yeah, and then I give you... What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Egypt. Now, today I'm talking to you guys from Alexandria, and I actually arrived here yesterday from Cairo. Well, it was a long day. I flew from Luxor, one hour flight to Cairo, then one hour to the train station, then a three hour train here. But I made it, and it was actually pouring yesterday, so I didn't get out to make any videos for you guys, but I decided why not today? It's one of my last days in Egypt. I gotta get out and explore. So, this here is where I'm staying. This is the green plaza i'm actually staying at the hilton which is up there a very beautiful hotel but this area or this green plaza is super cool they got a krispy kreme donut kfc pizza hut starbucks all the good stuff and of course all of the big uh stores that you're used to seeing around the world mini so adidas things like that so today i'm actually about to hop into a taxi and make my way over to a citadel which is super famous around here and we're gonna explore Alexandria a bit together but yeah look there's a sign for the Hilton super beautiful hotel about a hundred dollars a night actually it was 85 a night and yeah the breakfast sucks but everything else is pretty decent but yeah they still got Christmas decorations up look they got an Auntie Anne's pretzels Decathlon sports store McDonald's and you know what guys right now i'm gonna order an uber actually the uber is about um 10 minutes away right now i got one ordered and we'll jump on inside and make our way over to the citadel and start exploring alexandria so my uber's across the street he actually is making me cross the street because he doesn't want to come this way i guess you got to go a long way around all right here he is right here okay let's not die in alexandria today Woo! come on all right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Christopher? Kite Bay? Huh? Kite Bay, Allah? Kite Bay, yeah. Oh, Kite Bay. Kite Bay. Coming off the Nile cruise and then being back in a big city, man, it's it's quite crazy. So yeah, Alexandria definitely gives me like Cairo vibes. It's a big city, a lot of traffic, a lot of horns. You see a lot of street food. Yeah, the architecture is kind of laid out the same as well. But yeah, super excited to be here. Now, there's actually one of the largest libraries in the world here, um, the Alexandria Library. However, today it is closed. It's closed for a national holiday. I'm not sure what the holiday is, but I guess a lot of the sites here in the city and the library are, will not be open uh, because of that holiday. So I missed out on some of the most important things right off the bat, but it is what it is. We'll have to make it back here one day. But yeah, this place is beautiful, man. This is like a little Rambla, reminds me of like Spain. And yeah, we're only about to, what, 10 minute drive away from Bay, which is the big uh, citadel fortress out in the water actually I think this is around the area that I got picked up in yesterday I didn't actually get dropped off at the main station when I came here yesterday wow look at that Volkswagen bus and the taxis here are super cool looking as well but I didn't actually get dropped off at the main Alexandria station I got off at one before that was closer to the uh, Green Plaza or Garden Plaza wherever I'm staying and yeah it was only about a five minute ride from there to uh, my room now I want to talk to you guys about something yesterday when I actually went to the train station in Cairo I went to the Ramses train station and everything I read online said that it was like a hundred Maximum a hundred Egyptian pound like three bucks to get all the way down here Well, it turns out that here in Egypt if you're a foreigner You actually have to go to another section in the train station to purchase a ticket and to make the same ride literally in the same car um, Train what do you call it carriage? Uh, with the locals it's 27 US dollars and everybody else pays like two and a half. So I thought that was like, that was some bullshit, but it is what it is. I guess that's the way they are able to maintain their Metro rail and train system here in Egypt. I guess when you're charging like 
20 cents to locals because I think the cheaper ticket the ticket is like 20 pound well I'm guessing you can't really keep up on maintenance and let me just tell you guys that train was rough everybody was smoking cigarettes it was dirty and man that damn train felt like it was gonna fall off the tracks it was just shaking like this the entire time so yeah I don't think I'll do that one again but yeah this city's beautiful very green and it's a lot fresher a lot more cold than it than it was in the other cities because right now we are right on the coast of the Mediterranean which you'll actually see here in a minute So we just made it to uh, Kite Bay and that ride took about 15 minutes. It was a super beautiful ride and now, yeah, well we're definitely like the older part of the city. Now let me just tell you guys, man, this city is, I take back what I said, it was nothing like Cairo. This place is awesome. It's so beautiful, so calm. Please don't follow me. I don't, wanna, I don't want you to follow me, please. This guy's been bothering me since I got out the taxi, but you know, it's pretty normal when you get off of, at tourist sites, but they want to keep following you and following you. You just got to tell them, like, guys, please don't follow me. Like, I've been, ma I've been, I've made it clear to the touts at all the touristic sites since I've made it to Egypt. I tell them all, you make me feel uncomfortable. Please leave me alone, and they leave. So, just do that, and you'll be completely fine. All right, now let's see where we can purchase a ticket to actually enter Kites Bay. I wonder if you actually have to purchase tickets or you can just walk straight on up. Wow, it looks like there's all kinds of different shops here. Wow, look at that mural, it's beautiful. Yeah, there's all kinds of different souvenirs. And there at the end is the Citadel or Fortress. Wow, this place is awesome. Yeah, I definitely gotta do some souvenir shopping today. I mean, it is like my last full day to explore Egypt, so. I should go home with something and yet yeah, like there's all kinds of different um, shells and statues of all kinds of pharaohs and kings like we've seen throughout this trip but you know what maybe we can save the shopping for after we see kites bay now from what i was reading this um citadel was actually built in the year 1400 a.d so a lot of history has taken place here it's very, um, I mean, it's a very important part of the history of Alexandria. And as you can tell, we are right on the coast. There's a lot of fishermen. This is the Mediterranean Sea here in Egypt. It is beautiful. Wow, that water is blue, blue, blue. But yeah, a lot of local fishermen out, a lot of families sitting down, enjoying a nice, beautiful Friday here in Alexandria wow that is beautiful if you're coming to um, if you're coming to um, I thought they were waving at me I'm over here waving at the wrong people I thought they were waving at me um, no but I if you come on out here to Egypt you have to come to this side of the country the coast is absolutely beautiful I mean look at this and look at all the fishermen I wonder what they're catching out there everybody told me that I have to eat the seafood here in Alexandria but if you know me then you know I'm not eating the seafood here in Alexandria <laughs> because I don't like seafood. It's not my favorite food. I'd rather eat a steak here in Alexandria. But yeah, look at this. It's beautiful. Definitely um, great weather, great vibes. Exactly what I was hoping to run into here in Egypt because I was a bit afraid that it was going to be a little bit too warm. But no, it's not at all. It's perfect weather out here. And look, there's actually like a little dock that heads on out to a distance. There's more fishermen out there. But you know what? We're going to keep on walking. Now, the other day, Every, the photographers, the street photographer jobs here in Egypt are extremely popular. But the other day, I know you guys remember um, when I was in Luxor. In Luxor, I actually did one of those as well. But to be honest with you guys, I never received the pictures. <laughs> I paid the 50 and he told me he was going to send them to me on WhatsApp and he never sent them to me. And they were good pictures, man. I really wish um, he would have sent those over to me because they were beautiful. But yeah, a lot of souvenir shops along here. And this is the old town. As we were driving on uh, through here, well, the coastline looks absolutely beautiful. A lot of high-rise buildings. I'm noticing that here, man, they love Krispy Kreme donuts. There's a Krispy Kreme absolutely everywhere. A lot of shops selling all kinds of items. A lot of seashells, bracelets. And just overall, nice Egyptian souvenirs to take home with you. Wow, I love this place. I love the weather out here. It's a lot more fresher than it was in Cairo. 
Cairo, I mean, it wasn't super hot right now when I was there these days, but it was definitely um, not as breezy as it is here. I love how creative everyone is at their shops. I mean, there's people selling all kinds of items here at this business at their businesses. But yeah, along the sides of the banks of the water, there's actually more water there. So we're out like on a peninsula right now. There's all kinds of different seafood restaurants, lounges, cafes. Salam alaikum. Yeah, people are so kind here in Egypt. Seriously, that's the only thing I'm walking away from out of this trip is that Egyptian people are so kind. All right, let's come this way and I want to show you guys a little view of the water. Actually, we'll get a little bit closer right now. Wow, so it looks like there's a bunch of people out here on boats. Oh, you can take a boat. You do boats? Maybe later, maybe later. Thank you. Wow, this is cool. I don't, I, I don't know if he told me that he does boats. I think he heard me say boats and was like uh, trying to tell me, oh, well, I can take you to a boat. But yeah, look, a lot of the locals take boats here, huh? That's cool. You do boats? How much? Uh, 150 with 900. 150? Oh. How many minutes? Uh, 10 minutes? 150. What? 150. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Why not? I wasn't expecting to ride a boat here in Alexandria, but... Oh! All right. Yeah, I was not expecting this. I seriously haven't seen this anywhere on the internet that, you know, you can actually ride boats here, but this is cool. Okay. All right. Up front? All right. <laughs> and that's why you shouldn't plan things, guys. Just go with the flow. It's the best way to see any part of the world. One minute, please. Okay. Small round? Big round? No, just small one, man. Yeah. How many minutes? Big round? 15 minutes. 15 minutes? 15 minutes. Oh, just 15. Just 15 minutes. I don't have too much time. Yeah, one five. One five? Yeah. That one five? Uh, 150, right? 50, 50 minutes. One, one five, 15 minutes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I don't want to spend too much time on the one. 150, right? Okay. Actually, let me put you guys right here. Oh, yeah. This is how I wanted to spend my day on a boat in Alexandria. What's bakshis? No, that's enough. That's a lot of money. No, no tips. Everybody wants tips. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Everybody wants tips, but no tips. You got You already spent 150. It's too much. All right, we're going off. It's funny. In Egypt, they want tips before they even take you out to do the job. It's crazy. Sit right there. Okay. All right. Well, this is what you do in Alexandria. You go on a boat. <laughs> and now we're going to get like little panoramic views of uh, Kites Bay. But yeah, if you guys are from here, let me know what the normal price is for this trip. I think 150 is fair. But I'm not going to go on and start tipping, especially before you even go on out. It's like, what kind of service is that? I don't know. In this country, with tourists, they feel like, you know, you have to tip for absolutely everything. I don't think they realize how tipping works. But time to enjoy this little cruise here in Alexandria. Man, a lot of the locals are out on boats. This is beautiful. Oh man, this is beautiful. Yeah, no regrets. There's one tour bus. It doesn't look like there's too many tourists here in Alexandria compared to um, Cairo and all the other places that I was at this trip. But yeah. Alexandria, beautiful place, beautiful place, yes, yes. very beautiful. He's good. Everybody said Alexandria is like Cairo. Alexandria better. It's better. It's more re more relaxing than Cairo. Cairo, too many people. Alexandria, 
beautiful place. All right, well, I mean, to be fair, it is a lot of work to do that paddling, but I don't think, I don't reckon we're going too far. Wow, they got a Bluetooth speaker on that boat. But yeah, this is beautiful, guys. Hello, thank you, thank you. Egyptian people are amazing, man. Especially when you run into the people that, you know, don't make their living off of the tourists that are just uh, saying hi. Then you'll run into nothing but good vibes. But yeah, look at the, look at the fortress. It's beautiful. You got the Egyptian flag up there. Some kids taking pictures. We'll enter right now in a bit. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this so far. Is this something that you guys would have done if you were out here? Like you got a fisherman out here. But yeah, a lot of people on the boats. Now be honest with me. If you're Egyptian and you're watching this and you're from Alexandria, when you guys go out on excursions like this, um, do they obligate tips from you in the beginning? Or do you guys tip in general? Or is it common? I don't want to know because... I don't mind doing it. I just don't like it when people tell me I have to do it before um, they do their service, you know? Wow, this is beautiful. Oh man, we're going underneath the underneath the fishing line. Wow, look at this boat, the shark. Man, what a gorgeous place. Okay, yeah. This is the view I wanted. Look at this. Wow. Alright guys, well. I'm gonna put the camera down for a second and I'll talk to you guys here uh, once we make it off the boats. And you know what? I am gonna tip the guy though. People just have to learn that there's a way to do things, you know? You don't do it before you serve somebody or before you're some, you before somebody does what they're what they're paying for, you know? Alright, I'll talk to you guys in a minute once I make it back to the coast or back to the shore. That boat ride was awesome. A great way to kick off the little tour here in Alexandria now. I did tip the guy afterwards, I gave him 50. So I ended up spending 200 on that, but yeah, it's beautiful. So I was reading online that this here is a 15th century fortress and that the fortress is actually named after a sultan who had the last name Kite Bay. And this was originally built as a defense fortress, which I'm not sure who they were defending who or what from, but now it's a tourist site and we're about to explore it. Hopefully this here is the, the main entrance. Wow, it's beautiful. Okay, so it looks like here is a, what's in here? Oh, a marine museum. So that's a museum. So that can't be right. That can't be the right entrance. I'm guessing we'll follow the, the tour buses. Look at all the tour buses here. But yeah, definitely recommend the little boat ride now. It didn't last too long. We were out there a whole uh, 15 minutes, but that's exactly what I wanted. I didn't want to stay out there a whole lot, um, a whole lot of time. There's other people though that are actually going around the fortress, so you can imagine they're about to be on the water for a good hour. You can imagine it's a beautiful way to spend an hour though. All right, there's like a security checkpoint, so I'll turn the camera off and I'll, I'll turn it back on as soon as we enter. I got a ticket. It was 150, so around four U.S. dollars to enter, and we're about to enter the Kite Bay fortress or citadel and here it says kite bay citadel established by sultan kite bay 882 ah to 1477 ad okay so you do have to go through like a security checkpoint but now we are about to enter the citadel well i guess we're inside of the citadel already let's check this place out wow it's impressive Man, it is beautiful. This actually reminds me of in Crete, in Heraklion. It's an island in Greece. There's actually a fortress just like this out on the water. And this is what it reminds me of. Wow, it is beautiful. Look, you got a bunch of cannons. Essentially, this might be like their version of the Alamo. <laughs> this is cool. I like it. I wonder if this is all original. It's super cool. But yeah, there's not a whole lot of information about it um, on Google that I read. All of it kind of restated the same facts, but yeah, it is awesome. We can go inside. Actually, let's go on inside and then we'll head on 
to the sides and I'll show you one of the views of the city because it is beautiful here. Wow, this is awesome. I love Egypt because you just teleport back in time everywhere you go, the main tower. Oh, this is cool. This is awesome. It's pretty cool to walk around sites like this. See, in Los Angeles, we're not so blessed to just have extremely historical sites on every corner. And I feel like when you grow up in cities like this, oftentimes the locals, well, you know, you local teenagers watching or young adults, you probably don't appreciate what you have as much as like a tourist when they come and see your city through their eyes so it looks like here is the mosque this is the mosque of the the citadel and it says that the mosque occupies more than half of the first floor area it was built according to the mamluki style which is square open sun in the middle so i'm guessing that's what that is right there and in, and in the middle by four ewans related to the four creeds of islamic religion wow that's cool. It is the second oldest mosque in Alexandria. There were also two rooms. The first one was used for staying for the staying of the sheik and the second one was used to store the mosque stuff. Very cool. All right, let's walk on into this direction now. So it says that this here is the room of the grind. It is used to grind seeds for making food for soldiers. Some kind of animals was used to do that job. It was clear from the round shape of the building for this room. Interesting, huh? You know what? I wonder what everybody else is staring at in here. What's in here? Oh, and that? Whoa, it's a wind tunnel, man. Dang, that was like the air conditioning? Dude, that's crazy. That's It's like bringing in all of the wind from uh, the coastline. That is awesome. All right, let's head on into this direction. Now, definitely worth the visit, huh? It's cool. Oh yeah, let's head on up. Ooh, almost fell. Let me know what you guys think of this place so far. It's pretty cool, huh? <clears throat> okay, so it says right here that the second floor, it consists of four passage passageways which are around the sun of the mosque, which contain four big halls, which were used between the leaders and soldiers. Wow, this is cool. What a view, huh? Look at the city. City of Alexandria, beautiful. Well, I'm going to keep walking around this fortress for a bit. And I'll see you guys once we make it on down. So I read a bit more information on inside. And it says that this year was one of the most important forts in or on the Mediterranean Sea at the time. Um, and that includes, so I was just reading a little bit more information and it says that this here was actually one of the most important forts on the Mediterranean Sea during its time. And that much of it was actually destroyed um, with the British occupation. So a lot of it um, was rebuilt, but yeah, right now we're gonna walk up and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a better view of the city. Hello. Hello. Wow. This is beautiful. Yeah, this gives me Greece vibes, man. Wow. 
Egypt is so beautiful. Unreal. I'm so glad I came here. I was debating on coming to Alexandria, but I'm glad I came. It is beautiful out here. I'd like to go out and do some fishing or some go out on a big boat. Maybe next time. What a place, man. City's gorgeous. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna walk over in this direction and I'll show you guys what it looks like right in the front of the forts because there we're a little bit closer to the buildings and you can really you know see how big and developed the coastline is here in Alexandria because this GoPro doesn't really do all those um, far buildings justice to be honest no video no photo does any place justice you really got to come out to these places and see them for yourself but yeah the city of Alexandria is huge so we're barely gonna scratch the surface in this video. 100%. Like there's so much we're gonna be missing. Yeah, look at that. Unreal. So I made it out. I think I'm actually about to walk in towards the direction of another spot that I saw on the way here. But first, let's see if we can actually buy a little souvenir of some sort. I actually would like to go home with a little something else. Oh, these look beautiful. Salam alaikum. How much? This is 50. That one's 50? This is, no, this is 50. That one's 50? This is 50. This is 150. 200, 300. Okay. Excuse me, look this. Oh, that one's big. Built. Big King Tut. This new big. Okay, okay. And so, how much for this one? 50. 50. Give me, look. You have a new one? Look, that one damaged. Okay. Yeah, but that yeah. color, that color? Okay, I take one. Okay. Let me see. Let me keep looking. Let me keep looking. Um. No, no pyramids. No pyramids. I already have one. Tutankhamun. Which one? Um. This is how much that one? This is stone. Okay, but how much? I, I don't I don't care the material. How much? One fifty. One fifty. Okay. Okay. Um. Let me see. And what about these pyramids? Three pieces. Oh man, it's too heavy though. Dual fiber. This is stone. Huh? This is stone. This is that one's lighter? Fiber glass. Oh, okay. Let me see. This fiber glass. Oh yeah, that one's not heavy. Okay. This is stone. Like this is stone. Oh yeah, big difference, huh? This is stone. Oh no, no, no. Too heavy, too heavy, too heavy. Okay. Okay, um, how much for the small set? Small? Yeah. Two hundred fifty. One, two, three. Two, oh no, too expensive. Okay. Okay. Okay, three. Discount. Okay, last about. Okay, discount. What's the discount? What's the discount? Okay. 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 Wait. Hey. Okay. I'll take those two. Yeah. Uh, looking. Look. Keep looking. Keep looking. Actually, you know what? How much is this? This. Man, it's heavy though. Everything's heavy here in Egypt. You can't take this nothing. This, this, I know, but I, I I'm traveling, so I can't okay, take heavy. Look it. Look it. No heavy items. Okay, you know what? And how much is that one? Okay. Okay, just this and this. How much? <laughs> I like Egypt. Bargain. <laughs> how much for this? One minute. Look at it. No, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yes. 250. No, 250. 200. 450, 450. 450. 450. One, two, three. No, no, no. I don't I don't want these ones. I'll take this one. What's the best price for this? This one. No, no, no. It's okay. Here, no. I'll take I'll take No, it's okay. I want I want honest price from the beginning. I'll take these two and that's it. Just these. Leave everything else. One minute. One minute. One minute. No, no one minute. You be honest and then I give you No. One minute, sir. One sir. minute. One. There, you know how many more shops are on the like, street, sir? Like Here, take a hundred. Three. Sir, just take a hundred. Here, take a hundred. Okay. Or else I, I'm going to leave. Give me three hundred. Sir, I'm going to leave if you don't... Okay. Hey. No more business for you. Okay. No, you're good. Hey. I'm going to go spend my money somewhere else. Next time, pay attention, bro. Okay. Stop trying to sell extra things. Okay, sir. No. Permit. You're going to keep going? Or should I go somewhere else? Okay. Relax, man. It's 200. That's not an honest price, bro. 
Go on the 50 No, it's okay. I bought so many of those things, but I get mad when they try and keep um, add more and more things, man. Like relax. I'm trying to. I know what I want to buy, and it makes you feel uncomfortable. All right, now we're gonna keep shopping. I'm gonna actually purchase a few more items as well. Now, you guys know me. I'm not rude, but God, show me some respect. You gotta show tourists respect everywhere in the world, and it's not just here in Egypt where that happens. Anywhere you go where there's tourists, those things go on, but it doesn't make you feel comfortable, you know. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Wow, beautiful store. Yeah. What you want? How much? How much the magnets? Twenty pounds. Twenty pounds. Okay. I'll take one. Two. Oh man, I like those. Where's the Roman Teatro? Here in Alexandria. Roman Teatro in Alexandria. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Egypt pyramid. Egypt. Okay. And Lake House here in Faro. Fanar. Faro. Okay. You know, I take um. I'll take these two. I'm gonna buy multiple. How much this one? No, this. This is stone. Yeah, but I don't want stone. I want stone. light one. Stone. Yeah, but I, I, I. Airplane too heavy, too yeah. heavy. I need lighter ones. No, have no. What's the price? One hundred. One hundred? You do seventy-five. Seventy-five. What? Se seven five. Eighty okay. Okay, eighty okay. Honest man, honest man. Okay, this one. Okay. This one. Okay. Let me see what else I want to buy. Oh, the camel. It's coming, different coming. How much? Fifty. Fifty. Yeah. It's different, different. You do thirty. Thirty. I buy two piece. Two piece. Uh, <laughs> four piece one fifty. Four piece one fifty. Ah, yeah. oh, big yeah. <laughs> businessman. Yeah. See, great guy, great guy. Okay, oh, yeah. so one, one piece. Yeah, okay. I buy four piece, okay? Okay, is there one? Uh, um, one who's this one? Who's this one? Isis. Isis. Isis and uh, Nefertiti. Nefertiti? Okay, one Nefertiti. It's a Ramses. Oh, one Ramses? Ramses yeah, Anubis. 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 Aoras. No, one more camel. Aoras. Here you go. Okay, is there one? Uh, Tutankhamun. No, okay, no Tutankhamun, these ones. Okay, okay. Shukran, Habibi. Okay. I like more uh, So 150, 80, 80 230, no. 270. 80, this 80, 80, 80 150, 150, 230, uh, 270, 80. 30 pound. What can I get for 30 pound? I give uh, you 300. Okay, Tutankhamun. Okay. Good deal. Uh, Shukran, it's Habibi. People, uh, no, too much for me. Huh? Too much, too much. Okay. Thank you, sir. Here you go. Shukran. Okay, now we're good on souvenirs, I think. We got a lot of items. Uh, uh, papyrus, bookmark, papyrus. I have already. Thank you. And, uh, pyramid. Pyramid, stone, basalt. Shukran. Let me see. Pyramid. Basalt stone and the King Tutankhamun and the uh, Aziz and the Cleopatra. Yeah, those are and nice, but I got. Egypt. Who price? Small money, no seconds. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Just those ones. Okay. Shukran. How much? Three pieces. Uh, it's too much. Too much for my bag. One hundred fifty-three pieces. No, it's okay. Thank price. you. Just this one. Just this one. Thank you. Shukran. Thank you, bro. Have a nice time. You too. Thank you. No more. No, it's okay. Thank you. All right. Well, he had um, some really good prices, so I got all the souvenirs I need now. Man, okay, the mommy here. No, no, I have already. Thank you. I have. Thank you. Shukran. Okay, it's only hundred. No, 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 no. It's okay, sir. Just no, just give me my. I am not sure. It's okay. It's okay. I want change. Thank you. I have no change. What do you mean you don't have no change? You got an amazing shop. You have to have change. This seems to be the common trend. Sir, no money. Just change, please. I don't want to be rude like that was to the last guy. Please, just give me change. Man, it takes the energy out of you sometimes because you, you want to just have... You know, I wanted to buy some souvenirs and that's it, man. Just give me my change so I can keep going. All right. Well, 
Um, we got all the souvenirs that we needed. I don't think I'm missing anybody anymore. I got a bunch of magnets. I got a bunch of little like different Egyptian statues that I can give to people. So yeah, I think we're good. I don't think I have a souvenir that I bought for myself yet, to be honest with you guys, but it's okay. Maybe I'll come back here again one day. Actually, I know I want to come back here again. There's so much more I want to explore. Shukran, thank you. All right. Well, we got our 100 and now it's time to take off. The problem is, is when you actually do all this shopping, man, you got like, sheesh, I don't know how many pounds in my hand right now. And it sucks because I actually have like a few more countries I'm going to before I head home. So a lot more shopping that needs to be done. Well, you know what? I think right now I'm actually going to put the camera down and I'm going to walk over to a different part where I saw this beautiful mosque and then I'll tune back in. I just spotted something super cool actually. Right along the beach or along the water, there's actually some tables and this gentleman here sells tea. So let's actually grab ourselves a little tea and that's what we'll do. Hello, sir. A uh, tea? How much? Ten pounds. Ten pound. Okay. One tea. One. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Very beautiful store. A uh, little sugar. Little sugar. One. Yeah. Thank you. Shukran. Can I see here? Huh? Twenty pound. Okay. Deal. Okay, that's good. Thank you. I respect that. Dude has to pay for his chairs, you know. Um, everything that goes into this business. So, yeah, usually when you sit down anywhere with the view, you got to pay. So, that's perfectly fine. And I get a nice little rest. I'm going to put my AirPods on. Enjoy this beautiful view. Oh, Alexandria, you stole my heart. I wish I had more time here. I really do. I love this city. I wish I would have split, split my time evenly between Cairo and here instead of spending like the majority of my trip in Cairo. But hey, there's no room for there's no room for regrets, you know. I'll be back. Look at this place. All right, so right now the tea should be well on its way. But yeah, cute little shop right here along the water. I wonder how businesses like this operate. Like, um, do they gotta have like a, a permission or something to be on out here? Is it like an unofficial restaurant? I like it though. Now, to be honest, I don't know what's going on with me right now, but I never really get sick. But man, my stomach is messed up right now. I don't know why. I really don't know why because I haven't been eating nothing crazy or nothing on the streets. Um, but usually, no lie, when I hear of people getting sick, it's always from hotel food. So I have a feeling that maybe the food that I had this morning at the Hilton, man, really messed me up because ever since breakfast oh man i had like a little i had like a couple cramps in my stomach and then i was also like yeah in the toilet i know it's a little bit too much information but i'm just sharing that with you because i don't feel 100 percent right now um hopefully the tea helps some of you guys are gonna be like no chris obviously the tea's not gonna help <laughs> but um usually you don't gotta worry about things that are boiled uh, boiled fried things like that so we'll enjoy a tea and then we'll get on out of here but yeah here comes my tea right now oh i think it comes with a water bottle too Shukran. Shukran Habibi. Here, I pay? I... Thank you. Here we go. My favorite tea. I'm gonna miss this about Egypt. I love the Egyptian tea, man. It's always such a good, a good taste. And man, it goes well with everything, especially this nice little windy weather that we got going on right now. I love that they just soak it in sugar. Oh, anything with sugar is, <laughs> is is excellent, huh? All right, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so the tea hit the spot, and now I'm right along the water. And look at all the boats. Look at the beautiful buildings off into the distance. Wow, this is truly beautiful. Yeah, this city definitely gives me all of the European vibes. You got all the carriages, horses and carriages as well. That's pretty normal all around Egypt, but yeah. The Mediterranean, this is something I hadn't seen in the country yet. And I'm sad that I'm only here for a day and a half. Because this city should definitely, should definitely use at least a week. I think a week in Alexandria will be, will be enough to cover at least all the important sites. And then you never know, you might end up like me and show up here 
when the library is closed. So you might not even be able to do everything on the same day, but yeah. Everybody was comparing this city to Cairo. However, I must say it is nothing like Cairo. It is way calmer. I mean, look at the streets. Obviously you hear horns, there's cars. It's a big city, but nowhere near the amounts of volume that you're witnessing in Cairo. But everybody that I, that I was with on my um, Luxor cruise was telling me that this city was incredibly busy. I just don't see it. Maybe I'm in the wrong area. This is like pretty calm for me. I mean, I'm from a big city. I'm from Southern California in the Los Angeles area and I'm used to traffic, but this year, yeah, this is, this is nothing. This is light. It's beautiful. Yeah, a lot of people enjoying their, um, their afternoon here, like eating food, drinking teas with this incredible view. Wow. You know what? I got to take my phone out. I got to take a picture of this. I mean, look at this. What a place to just sit down and enjoy a few hours of your afternoon, huh? I'm noticing that there is ice cream absolutely everywhere and some locals actually just got done telling me that I cannot leave Alexandria without trying ice cream. I asked them what's the best one and they told me a place called Ice Cream Aza, which is about five minutes away. But first, let me show you guys this moss. This is what I saw earlier today and what I actually wanted to walk on out to to show you guys. It is beautiful. Oh man, are they fighting? Wow, yeah, this mosque is beautiful. So beautiful. I'm wondering what's happening over here right now. What is it? Oh, someone's donating food to the hungry. Man, that really goes... Man, that's rough. They were all trying to get their hands on some food, man. That's so sad. I mean, there's people hungry all over the world, huh? Look at the mosque. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow. That is gorgeous. So yeah, um, I guess somebody came by and was donating food to these people. And yeah, I guess that's what they were arguing for. Oh wow, look, there's some more sweet potatoes over here. Wow, these ones look nice, huh? All right, you know what? I think I'm gonna get back out onto the main street. Wow, somebody is going around and handing out food to everybody. But yeah, there's ice cream shops everywhere. So that makes sense. Alexandria has to be famous for ice cream. So let's go find some ice cream. I would sit down right there, but now I actually want to go to the ice cream Aza shop that the people I just talked to recommended me. So we'll head over in that direction. But yeah, there's ice cream everywhere. There's another shop right there. But I think I want to take everybody else's advice and go and check out the ice cream Aza. Man, this city reminds me reminds me more of a European city than, than any other city that I've been to in Egypt so far. It's just completely different vibes out here. It's a cool place, man. So right there directly in front of us is the ice cream shop Aza. All right, let's try and make our way across the street without getting hit. Not before the ice cream, hit me after. Let me make sure I get the best ice cream in the world first. Come on. All right, so there's the Aza ice cream shop. Man, yeah, it was literally only like a five minute walk from um, from the Citadel. All right, here we are. Here it is, ice cream shop Aza. Hello. Um, can I get uh, one scoop? Oh. Hello. Everybody told me this is the best ice cream, Alexandria. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. Um, best one. Surprise me. Uh, strawberry, chocolate. Strawberry, chocolate, yeah. mango, lemon, vanilla. Okay, strawberry, chocolate. Strawberry, chocolate. Shukran. Uh, that one. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that looks amazing. Ice cream, Aza. Wow, shukran, thank you. Okay, this looks amazing, yo. This place was full, but as soon as I sat down, everybody left, so yeah, I got two scoops. Man, this looks amazing. So yeah, it's not like a regular ice cream, it's actually a lot different. They say Alexandria, Egypt is well known for its ice cream and it's some of the best in the world. This one also almost reminds me like Turkish ice cream. 
Wow, that is so good, man. I went chocolate strawberry. Wow. Yeah, literally the same texture as as Turkish ice cream. This is lovely. And you can tell they use a lot of fresh strawberries on this one. Wow, this is insane. <laughs> I wish I could find those people to thank them for the recommendation. Wow, this is too good. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't get the small cup. I don't know how all this is gonna work with my stomach. I should probably just be eating like some healthy foods and not junk, not sweets right now because I don't feel the best in my stomach, but hey, you can't say no to good ice cream. Mm. You know, I haven't done a whole lot here in Alexandra, but I've been having a good day and that's all that matters. I'm having a good time. I'll be back. This city's gorgeous. Let me know what you guys thought of it, of it so far, or at least what, what I showed you through the camera. Definitely a place you need to add to your list when in Egypt, though. That ice cream hit the spots, but man, I'm so disappointed right now because I just actually was doing some reading on things to do in Alexandria, and it turns out that where the citadel um, is, where it stands, that's actually where one of the ancient wonders of the world once stood the pharaohs of Alexandria. How come I did not know that when I was there? Come on, Chris, you gotta do research, bro. Still super cool that I was, you know, there, um, that I visited, but it would have been a lot cooler had I known that fact when I was there. So I guess once the uh, pharaohs of Alexandria actually collapsed, that's when the Sultan made the citadel. That's when he ordered the construction of the citadel. But yeah, man, such a beautiful city. But man, I wish I would have known that prior to being on out there. Either way, um, still super cool that we were able to visit. Now, guys, to be completely honest with you, I'm sorry I let you guys down on the Alexandria video, but I gotta go back to the hotel. I don't feel too good right now. My stomach is really messed up, and um, I think I could really use some rest right now before my 15-hour travel day to Bangladesh. And I wanna feel 100% prior to heading on out there so right now i'm actually about to go back to the house i'm gonna go shower relax get some work done probably go hit up a pharmacy and then um yeah that's gonna be the end of this of this series i'm thinking about making another little video uh, maybe later on today maybe tomorrow explaining everything about egypt and of course safety because that's what a lot of you guys are worried about but just know that I have felt extremely comfortable the entire time here. Um, the only people that do bother you are the ones that are trying to sell you things, but that's pretty much normal anywhere else in the world. Uh, the hospitality here is unmatched and I recommend it to everybody. But yeah, right now I gotta go home. I gotta get some, some much needed rest, especially before I continue on with this journey that I'm on. So, sorry. I hope for all you people from Alexandria, I hope I, I showed your city off at least a little bit. I mean, basically we pretty much just covered the citadel and i was able to just show you guys the, the vibes on the streets but yeah right now as the as it starts to become evening you're gonna notice a lot of like uh people hanging out a lot of shops opening look at all these people coming out here with like bike rentals and little um car rentals for the kids it's beautiful out here great vibes but yeah for now i'll let you guys go and i'll talk to you guys later much love but my stomach is real bad right now. Later, guys. You're always modern.